If you want to do your Bybit crypto tax, then this video is correct for you. Today we're gonna set up your API and coin tracking, but also show you how you can import with the CSV. Let's jump into the computer and set up our Bybit API first. You need to be logged in into coin tracking and as well Bybit. In coin tracking, there's also a guide how to do this. So I'm going to show you that. If you look for Bybit, then you will find a step-by-step -step guide how to set up the API, even with a link to get to the correct site in Bybit. If you simply click that link, you will get to the correct site where you can set up your API key and secret. But if you don't want to click the link, which I understand, this is crypto, you're cautious, then simply go to your account and go to your account icon and scroll down to API and you will be on the same page. From here on, we just click create new key and system generate API key. You have to give your API key a name so you know for what the API key has been generated. Let's say coin tracking API video. And then we give the API the setting it's read only. We at coin tracking need only the read only permission. So we only are interested in the transactions. If you create by mistake a read and write uh, API, then it will be declined by coin tracking. Then from here on, we just select that we need all the transaction types um, exported and then click submit. Now we are getting a verification code to our uh, email. So Bybit is making sure that we are actually trying to access uh, this API and also we need to two-factor authentication to confirm this. Once we have authenticated successfully with the email and the authenticator, then we can see a big pop-up with key successfully added and we can simply copy the API key into coin tracking. So let's do that very really quick. And then also the API secret, copy that into here too. Below in the importer, we can see some settings we can adjust if we would like to but the recommended one is already selected. Down below, we can also set a label for the exchange and as well a starting day when we want to like the importer to start uh, import transactions. We leave it as it is and simply click save this Bybit job. Once the job is correctly imported, you will be notified with a big green box on the right side that the job has been saved. And if we scroll down a little bit, then we can see it is in progress and our data is getting pulled by the API into coin tracking. Once the data from the API is loaded into coin tracking, and it took a little while, 15 minutes from here at least, then you will be able to check the balance in coin tracking and compare it to the balance in Bybit. For example, if we go to reporting and then balance by exchange and scroll down to Bybit, then we will see the balance in coin tracking and if it matches the balance in Bybit. Once done, then you are ready to go to the next phase. But if you don't want to import the API and want to import the CSV or Excel file, then simply click the tab CSV Excel import and then you will have a step-by-step -step guide how to do it. Again, we provide you a handy link where you can just click on it and land on the correct side, on the export side and buy it. But if you don't want to click link, once again, we simply go to your account, hover over the icon, click on assets, click on funding account, then on the right side, you will see history, click on history. And here you will see on the right side again, export, and you are on the correct side. The same one coin tracking provides. Here we're gonna just select all the accounts and options to trade. So we receive all the data. For the date or for the time period, we will select customize and you can select one year in time frame. So if you are trading for many years on Bybit already, then you will have to generate multiple exports. Once you have selected your time period, and then you simply click export and your yeah, export will be generated by Bybit. I have prepared already an export, so we can simply go back to coin tracking, import that. Once we are back in coin tracking, then you have to hit CSV, Excel import, and then you will see again the instructions down here. And down here, you have to select the type of uh, file which will be uploaded. For our case, we're gonna be this one, and then you will be able to upload the file. Once your selected file is uploaded, you will see in the progress bar that it is full and that you can continue to import. Once the file has loaded into the system, then you will see some options for the importer to disable or enable. Recommended is already set in for you, and you can start to import. Once the importer is done, you will see on the right side a 
big green box with Bybit import done. And if you scroll down, you will see that the transactions have been successfully imported. Now, all you have to do, same with the API, you go back to your trades and if you import CSV transactions, then you will notice on the right side, on the bottom, a data recalculation is required, meaning, yeah, there's new data in the account and the software needs to recalculate the whole thing so it can generate a tax report. We click that simply and then, yeah, like with the API, you have to go back into the balance by exchange on the reporting section right here and then again make the comparison is the balance in coin tracking correctly displayed and the same one as in Bybit. Once you have imported all your transactions then please make sure that you import all the transactions of all your different exchanges all your different wallets and make sure to check all the checks in the reporting section to make sure there are no missing transactions or other errors or duplicates in your account then you can move on and generate the correct tax report. So let's move to the tax report section. If you're on the tax report side, then you simply have to scroll down and choose your country. In our case, it is Germany with the first in first out method for the tax year 2023. If you are hovering over the eye icon, then you will see more information about the different categories. We give you a lot of different options you can choose from for your tax report. All our recommendations are already pre-selected if you choose your country. Then you have to scroll down and simply generate a new tax report. And if you don't have a lot of transactions like I do, then the tax report is created within a few seconds and you simply can load the report. Once you load your report, you will see all the important data about your transactions, how much you made, how much you lost. And if you scroll down, you will see in big orange download tax report. Here again, you have some export options and you have the option to export in PDF or Excel. Once done, then you are ready to submit your taxes. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you need anything else, please comment it down in the comment section down below and we are ready to help you. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see you in the next guide. Bye bye.